Hi everyone. Thanks for your interest in our paper. This is Gyun Hik Yuk, Ji Hong Oh, and Munchul Kim. We are glad to present our work, FMA Net, Flow Guided Dynamic Filtering and Iterative Feature Refinement with Multi Attention for Joint Video Super Resolution and Deblurring. Video super resolution networks are usually trained with sharp low resolution sequences, and thus their performances tend to severely drop for even slightly blurry frames. Therefore, there is a need for joint video super resolution and deblurring, which aims to handle more common degradation scenarios than video super resolution alone. Blurry low resolution frames contain various types of degradations, such as blur caused by inherent degradation characteristics of the camera and spatio temporally variant motion blur due to object motion or camera shake. Therefore, VSRDB methods should appropriately handle spatio temporally variant characteristics. We propose a joint video super resolution and deblurring framework, called FMA-NET, which jointly learns spatio-temporally variant motion-aware degradation and restoration kernels instead of directly predicting the output frames. For this purpose, we propose flow-guided dynamic filtering and iterative feature refinement with multi-attention block. The former enables sophisticated learning of small to large motion representations, while the latter globally adapts features to spatio-temporally variant degradation characteristics. Flow-guided dynamic filtering combines optical flow with dynamic filtering. While conventional dynamic filtering applies filtering to location P with its fixed neighbors, requiring large-sized kernels to capture large motion, our flow-guided dynamic filtering constructs optimal locations and neighbors using learned optical flow enabling effective capture of large motion even with small-sized kernels. The iterative feature refinement with multi-attention block refines three tensors, unwarped features, warped features, and multi-flow mask pairs. Additionally, the proposed multi-attention for refining warped features consists of center-oriented attention and degradation-aware attention. These two attentions are kind of cross-attention, Updating features by computing queries from the center feature map of the initial unwarped features and predicted motion aware degradation kernels. During this process, warped features globally adapt to degradation. This is our full network design, containing a degradation learning network at the top and a restoration network at the bottom. Both networks are composed of the proposed iterative feature refinement with multi attention block and flow guided dynamic filtering predicting spatio-temporally variant motion-aware kernels. The degradation learning network takes a blurry low-resolution sequence as input and predicts a motion-aware spatio-temporally variant degradation kernel for each pixel, along with the optical flow in the clean high-resolution sequence, through stacked FRMA blocks. Then, the network applies flow-guided dynamic filtering with the predicted kernel and optical flow on the clean high-resolution sequence to reconstruct the blurry low-resolution center frame, which is then used to calculate the reconstruction loss. This is a visualization example of flow-guided dynamic downsampling. It reconstructs the blurry low-resolution center frame using the predicted flow and kernel. The restoration network takes a blurry low resolution sequence and three features predicted by the degradation learning network as input. Then, it predicts optical flow in the blurry low resolution sequence and restoration kernels for joint video super resolution and deblurring through stacked FRMA blocks. Employing the predicted flow and restoration kernels, the network utilizes flow guided dynamic filtering to predict low frequency information of sharp HR frames and combines it with predicted high frequency detail to output the final result. This is an example of flow guided dynamic upsampling. Similar to the earlier flow guided dynamic downsampling, it restores sharp high resolution frames from a blurry low resolution sequence using the predicted flow and kernel. Here are the experiment results. This table shows PSNR, SSIM, and TOF for the various methods on the REDS 4 test set, and our FMA net outperforms all compared methods. We also compare the visual results. Our FMA net restores sharp edges and details compared to other methods. We compared the performance between our proposed flow guided dynamic filtering and conventional dynamic filtering. 
This figure shows the performance of the restoration network based on the two dynamic filtering methods. It can be observed that our flow-guided dynamic filtering demonstrates better reconstruction and restoration performance compared to conventional dynamic filtering across all motion magnitude ranges. Furthermore, this trend becomes more pronounced as the motion magnitude increases. We also conducted ablation studies on the number of multi-flow mask pairs, deformable convolutions, loss function, training strategy, and multi-attention, and this table shows that all proposed components operate effectively. Here we show two demo videos. For a seamless comparison, we provide an enlarged version of the video played at a slow speed. Additionally, the video intermittently pauses, allowing for a direct comparison. As shown in the demo videos, our FMA net outperforms the state-of-the-art video restoration methods. Thank you for listening and please feel free to visit our project page and demo video.